Okay, let's open up the box and see what you get here. Uh, right off the top, you got a pair of fiberglass blades, nothing special. And in this box, I believe this is just uh, empty, just to fill up the space. And in this box, here we've got skids. Eh, they're not too bad. Uh, over here. I'm going to take all this stuff out of the packages a little bit later and get an even better look. But just real quickly, um, in here, we've got the canopy, plastic canopy, main gear with the bolts for it. Bag full of goodies, blade holder, pinion, zip ties, velcro straps. Also over here that is the little rubber grommets there for the canopy. Okay. Take this here. And then in this box, and yeah, that was everything. All right, We're here in this box, this is where we got everything else. We've got the tail boom supports, tail boom, rear fin, and you know the vertical and horizontal fins. There, We've got the main frame with the canopy mounts in there. Um, over here, we've got the CNC head and the tail box. So now I'm going to go ahead and take this stuff out of the package, and that way you get an even better look at it. As you can see here, these things require a little bit more assembly than the EXI 450 Pros do. Um, but it's very simple. So starting off here, we've got the blades. As I said before, these are just fiberglass blades, nothing special, but they work fine. Um, just make sure you check to make that they're the same weight. Make sure you balance your blades before using these, and you get little tracking stickers to go with them. Uh, then in another separate package you get your tail boom supports and make sure you go and check to see if these need to be re-glued on there but don't glue them on until you make sure you got them in the right position you don't want to glue one sideways when you need it going the other direction there um, also get the fly bar and get these little brackets and screws for installing the uh, tail boom supports so that all comes in one little package there then in another package, get your tail boom, get the antenna holder if you're going to use like an FM uh, AM radio system. But pretty much nowadays we all use 2.4, so you won't be using this. Uh, this is the linkage for your rudder, uh, tail servo and rudder linkage there, and the little guides for the linkage. Then, and this, like I said, this all comes in one little package too. It's cool because they kind of, when they package things up for you, they separate it so that you, that way you know what screws go with what parts. Um, then over here in the separate little package, you get the horizontal and vertical fins there. It's pretty nice, the carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that. Um, over here, in, we've got the canopy, but then we've got all this stuff which came in a separate, in a bag together. We've got the blade holder, the fly bar paddles, uh, Velcro straps. This is like a foam tape. This is double-sided tape. Uh, zip ties, some extra screws, some ball links, uh, motor pinion, and then you got the main gear with the little spacer for it and the nut and bolt for it too. Um, then you also got up here, you got the skids, and then we've got the frame. It's pretty cool. Carbon fiber frame, metal bearing blocks there, metal motor tray, uh, tail servo mount, very cool. And in with that, you get the uh, swash plate guide and uh, gyro mount. And then in the same little bag, you get the canopy mounts, the screws, and you get two other washers. And make sure you don't lose those. I'll go tell you what those are for later. Uh, and then over here, we've got the tail box, CNC tail box. Very cool. And you've got the uh, tail blades. you got two little uh, metal washer type things that use for the screws here and then you got this little silver plug and that is used to secure the boom it would actually that little plug goes right down that hole it makes it so that the tail box doesn't rotate on the boom because so you're going to slide this in there and then you put that little metal plug down through it and then install the uh, vertical fin and that'll keep it from rotating but i'll show you that here a little bit later uh and then we got the Really nice full CNC head, very cool. 